So welcome to this ROV meditation tip. And today, Stephen and I are going to talk about how the past intrudes on the present and explore the question, can we change the past? Can we change how the past impacts the present? And can we do this through awareness and through higher consciousness practices? So yeah, so last week we talked about um, what keeps us from raising our vibration. Then we talked about noise in this body, heart, mind system. And it's the noise in the system that keeps us from tuning into these finer frequencies and awareness and this open space of awareness. Um, so a lot of that noise is in our system because of past unresolved experiences about that are stored in the cells of our body and our body, heart, and mind and get triggered or reactivated by present experiences. So say there was a, um, a challenging or hard or painful experience in your past and that at that time you weren't able to really handle it well and it just became stress that you kind of have repressed but it's stored in the cells of your body it's stored in your body heart mind and so what we want to do today is talk about how we can use awareness and we're, we're going to do a practice where we bring awareness to a past event to recode it to recode the neural network associated with that past experience in our body, heart, and mind. So when something happens in the present and it's reminiscent of one of these past stored experiences, it can just trigger a reaction that comes from the past. It's like our past lived experience is now becoming part of our present experience. And we experience all the tension that we experienced in that past painful moment right now and we see the present according to the past and that's what we mean by the past intruding on the present so how can we change those neural networks we can change those neural networks by bringing an open state of awareness to them so that we can view them without the emotional charge and we can start to witness new possibilities that flow from that past experience. So, um, Stephen, I know you had um, some research from Andrew Newberg, Dr. Andrew Newberg at the University of Pennsylvania related to uh, a part of the brain that is actually dedicated to this, this awareness. Um, so you want to talk a little about that? Yeah, Kevin, thank you. Thank you. And much love and blessings to everybody here. So yeah, this is a, such a beautiful topic of conversation, because I think the past and the way the past does intrude upon the present is, a, is so incredibly relevant for us at the moment. So when we look at the various situations we're facing in the world, we're often facing them from some kind of historical precedent or some kind of way of treating it based on what we've heard or information that is already past, right? And so we tend to react from things that we've heard from other countries, from other people. And there's a lot of fear and tension and anxiety that's connected with that. And so that neural pathway starts to get grooved instead of what could be considered a neural pathway towards open effortless awareness. And Andrew Newberg, who's the current professor and director of, the, uh, of research at the Marcus Institute of Integrative Health and Thomas Jefferson um, uh, Medical Hospital, he was looking at the neurophysiology, particularly of religious and spiritual practices. And he did a number of practices using brain imaging technology that, that uses, it, it, it uses single photon emission uh, it, it's a technique called SPECT that I've paid a lot of attention to and have been very curious about because the, this 
computed tomography allows you to measure blood flow, right? Rather than just the brain waves, it's looking at blood flow in the brain. And particularly the more the blood flow is in a particular area of the brain, the more active it is. And I've often thought when Kevin and I do our practices, it'd be wonderful to be measured using this particular system because we often speak about when the, the neural act activity is high there is this increased sense of movement or flow or blood flow and um, so he did research on and scanned uh, tibetan buddhist meditators so this was both monks and nuns and he found in the parietal lobe of the brain that there was decreased activity decreased activity during meditation and this area of the brain particularly is responsible so this area of the brain particularly is responsible for giving us a sense of our orientation in space and time so when it's highly activated we're very aware of space and time and when where it's not highly activated we're very aware of non-local or open or effortless awareness just as kevin's been pointing to so it tends to give us a uh a sense of our, our orientation, space and time, or the sense of non-local space-time orientation. And so it, his team actually hypothesized that once you start to meditate really deeply, um, and just as Yogananda and many great masters have said, that the, the sensory and cognitive input starts to vanish, right? You, you don't necessarily so much block it as it, it fades away. It, it, you, you're no longer aware of the senses. Uh, the narrative voice starts to diminish. So all of that sensory and cognitive in, input actually drops away. And so the meditation, when it, when it shows this kind of characteristic, it has a sense of no space and no time. And this is often... Uh, both a, a felt sensation and a um, state that's described by many advanced meditators over a course of many years, that this no space, no time is a part and parcel of reaching into this deep med meditation state. So in the jhanas or in many of the um, deeper states of samadhi, there is a non-local, no space, no time sense. And so it was really beautiful insight for me that that research showed exactly that. And so certainly when Kevin and I are guiding you into this, you might experience that sense of no space, no time or open effortless awareness. So when I'm gonna hand back to Kevin and when I do just as you're listening, if you consider and two things uh, for the section that I'm going to do. If you consider one, an event in your life that's maybe caused you a little bit of friction, you know, with another person, like perhaps a relationship with a person that's just nagged at you a little bit, caused you some irritation or even anger, something that you'd like to bring forgiveness or compassion to. So, the, so in my section of the practice, I'm going to get you to bring compassion to that person and event so that's one and the second one is i want you to bring a a synchronous event a, an event of synchronicity that's occurred somewhere in your life so this is a meaningful event that actually points us in a particular direction in our life so quite often we arrive at junction points and we want we're given the choice to make a decision you kind of you know it you just know there's a really meaningful point in your life you make a particular decision. It might be just because Kevin and I meet and I happen to say something and then Kevin says something and we both decide, oh, okay, let's write a book together, <laughs> right? It's a really, which is what we did. It's a really amazing, very pertinent, meaningful event. And it actually took, took us in a whole direction of working with the Raising Our Vibration community. Um, so that synchronicity that brought us, it was in fact a wonderful Dr. Ruth Anderson who pointed us in the direction of interviewing each other on her television show a while back or her, her TV channel, um, Enlightened World. It, it was a very syn 
synchronous or, or it was an event of synchronicity, a meaningful event that just came very spontaneously and took us in a particular direction. So those two experiences, one is a not very comfortable event with, with somebody, you know, so you could consider a, your father if you've got some challenges with your dad, that could be the first one. And the second one is just a meaningful event somewhere in your life that has brought you or pointed you in a particular direction. Okay, so with those in mind, I'm going to hand back to Kevin. Kevin. Great. Thank you, Stephen. So with that as a setup, what we'll do now is if you'll practice along with us, is I'll guide us um, just step by step into an open space of awareness and into that boundless, timeless um, recognition, realization. And then Stephen will introduce this practice of rewriting a past event with uh, a synchronized event within the space of awareness. So if you will just find a comfortable upright seated position and let your feet rest flat on the floor, your palms can rest in your lap, one cupped in the other. Tips of your thumbs touching lightly. It's a receptive posture and a posture that unites the left and right sides of your body and brain and energy system. And then lightly close your eyes. Now let's begin by awakening sensory awareness inside the body, interoceptive awareness, focusing first down into the soles of your feet, feeling the sensations of contact with the ground underneath you, awakening a sense of grounded presence. Now feel your legs and your hips, your lower abdomen as rooted, grounded into the earth through your feet. Now become aware of your hands in your lap. Allow your hands to soften and relax. Releasing any tension in your fingers and your palms. Softening your arms. Relaxing your shoulders down. Imagine a string attached to the top of your head, drawing your spine gently upright, giving you a feeling of awakened clarity up through your spine, up through the core of your body and through the top of your head. Now smile, a subtle smile. A smile of awakened clarity. Allow that feeling of smiling to wash down through your whole body. Imagine and feel every cell is awake with clear, radiant awareness. And take a couple slow, deep breaths.
feeling as if your whole body is filling up with your breath as you inhale. And as you exhale, imagine and feel your whole body is emptying out as you exhale. Now feel the entire space inside your skin. And feel the space around you, around your skin, touching your skin. Now feel the space inside your skin together with the space around you as one space, no inside, no outside. Become aware of this space extended infinitely in all directions to the front behind you to the left to the right above you and below you. An open, infinite space. A boundless space. This open, clear space, space without edges, without boundaries, is awareness itself. That within which all things arise, into which they dissolve. Open, clear awareness. Now Stephen will guide us from here. So in this vast, open, clear, boundless awareness, 
any experiences that unfold within this space of boundless awareness are open, free, empty, and clear. So we're going to connect to a past experience within this open, vast, boundless awareness. So bring to mind an experience with someone or an event with someone that might have caused you some discomfort, perhaps a challenge, Maybe a father, a mother, a brother, a sister, a relative, a friend. Where there was not such an easeful relationship. Not too challenging, but just enough for you to feel that discomfort. Because you can practice this many times. So you might imagine being with them, seeing the situation clearly hearing it, the words that were spoken, feeling it, maybe even smelling, tasting, touching it, so that you bring it alive within this open, vast awareness. Take a few moments to do that. And notice what's present as you bring this past situation into the present. So you're now making this past your present. And you're now going to make this past your future by bringing compassion. Really open your heart through the power of compassionate awareness to this situation. Notice how compassionate awareness has no bounds or edges. It's vast. It's open. It welcomes and embraces and allows this difficult situation. See if you can open up truly to this boundless nature of compassionate awareness. See if you can feel all of this compassion and love fully embracing the event or the person. Feel all of that compassion, this allowing, this opening to this situation flowing into that event really feel the sense of openness the sense of connection and allowing and then feel that challenging situation dissolving as if all of that energy is now embraced by this compassionate awareness As you feel this experience unfolding, see if you can experience it not as an object that you're focusing on, but rather as an experience that's playing out in this field of vast, open, empty, radiant, clear, compassionate awareness. Almost as if that uncomfortable situation or event is simply happening within awareness within this vast compassionate ocean of awareness so the discomfort any sensation of irritation or anger that you might have been experiencing is dissolving like a wave into the ocean of compassionate awareness just relax into that full expanse of pure compassionate awareness and allow this experience of boundlessness to unfold effortlessly.
as you turn inwards towards the one that's aware. Notice it's unfindable. Empty and full of infinite possibilities that this compassionate awareness that has opened you to the possibility of a new relationship, a new compassionate awareness is now your future. You've now brought the past into the present and brought compassionate awareness and open to a new future, which is now unfolding in front of you. The possibility of a new relationship with that situation or event or person. Now, I want you to connect to the synchronous event, an event of synchronicity in your life a meaningful event, perhaps where you've connected with someone who changed your life, perhaps you've connected with an event or an experience which has launched you in a new direction in your life. Bring that to mind. Bring it here so that it's very present. Again, you're bringing the past synchronous event into the present and opening and allowing it to be fully present in your consciousness. You might see it in a very clear way, brighten it if you can. You might hear it, the sounds associated with it very clearly. You might feel it in every cell of your body. Make it vivid and strong and bright. You might even smell or sense or touch aspects of this experience. Take a few moments to do this and make it fully present and real. Now bring the openness of awareness, this allowing this openness to what might be present in this synchronicity or this meaningful event. What new wisdom might arise? You're bringing this power of synchronicity into the present and it is now becoming your future. Allow this openness to really connect with the wisdom of this synchronicity or meaningful event. You can feel its wisdom in you. See if you can open up to the blessings of the wisdom of this synchronicity in a new and insightful way. See if you can feel all of that wisdom and realization opening through your awareness of this event or experience, through this awareness of what wisdom this person or experience might be bringing to you now and in the present. Really feel a sense of connection to that synchronicity, to that meaningful event. And then feel all this wisdom energy merging into you as this synchronicity now becomes part of your new and unfolding positive future. As you feel this unfolding wisdom in your body, within you, unfolding, revealing, allowing. See if you can experience this not as an object that you're focusing on, but rather as an experience playing out in this field of open, infinite wisdom. 
almost as if this synchronicity is happening within awareness again and all of the sensations that you're experiencing this new unfolding wisdom is like a wave in the surface of the ocean of awareness and now meeting merging relaxing into this full expanse of pure oceanic awareness allow this experience of this new synchronicity this new insight into life into life flowing through you to unfold effortlessly now you can drop this focus on this synchronous event you don't have to orient towards any experience nor do you have to ignore anything that arises. Just rest in open, effortless awareness. Now slowly, very slowly, become aware of the space within you and all around you. No inside, no outside. Slowly open your eyes in this compassionate wisdom and awareness of everything around you with gratitude and appreciation, with love and awe with delight and innocence and freshness for this moment and this one. Every single moment, an opportunity for wisdom, synchronicity, compassion and love. As you go about your day, move gently in this open, pure, limitless, boundless awareness. Feel every movement in your day and every moment as an expression of this boundless, limitless, open awareness. Notice all the small details of your world as expressions of pure, open, boundless awareness. And taking the richness and the beauty of this moment and this one and this one with this newfound wisdom and compassionate awareness. Notice how everything happens within this limitless, infinite, and boundless awareness. Thank you always for your divine presence and your immaculate practice.